Hey guys, Lydia here from Creative Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some of Suntop's brand new glow in the dark PLA filament. So, let's get started. Alright, guys, so before we start off with this filament, I just want to thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing and supporting this channel. This weekend, we hit 1,000 subscribers and we are still growing. I am so excited to hit that number. I never thought I'd be able to hit 1,000, let alone 100 subscribers. And I thank each and every one of you for supporting me all the way through making each and every one of these videos. I'm just super happy and excited to hit that number. And I might be actually doing a giveaway for hitting 1,000 subscribers. But let's just talk about this filament. So as you guys know, I already did a review on Suntop's filament. It was the brown slash maroon PLA filament. And I really love that filament. I've actually printed some of these parts for my bionic arm that I actually finished. I'll show you guys here. It works. And I just got to get some little grip parts for the hands. And then hopefully it will fit on my friend Jenna. And hopefully it'll work. So they decided to... Uh, send me some of their new glow-in-the-dark filament. They asked me if I was able to do a review on it once they got it ready and I said sure and I've never used glow-in-the-dark filament before so um, I'm actually really excited to do this review and check out how the how well this prints on my printer and how well it glows. So again like the other box it just has all this information on, on the front and on this side there is a little open area where you can see and then an information slot. This says 1.75 millimeter PLA glow in the dark clear one kilogram print temperature uh, 119 to 220 Celsius and bed temp 0 to 60 Celsius. So uh, and this says it's made in China. This there's just another sticker on here. So opening it up I just get a normal clear bag and as you can see it's like a yellow color or kind of clear like it says and then there's a uh, desk in back inside and then it's the same exact spool as the other maroon slash brown film that I did a review on. So we're just going to open this and it's not a Ziploc opening uh, package which I really like those because then you can seal them back up. So I'm just going to open this and get out the desk and pack. It's a pretty big desk and pack. Um, I do recommend keeping these, do not throw them away, and keep your bag so that you can store your filament back into it. So just looking at the filament, it's actually super, super tightly wound. Like there's no wiggle at all in this spool, and the filament is nice and tight and solid. Uh, is There's a little glare on it, but it is kind of a clearish glow in the dark color, I guess you would say. Um, it's got a different texture to it. It's like a little rough, smooth kind of texture. It's like a mixture. Um, but I think it's actually really cool. Again, there's another information sticker right here uh, that just lists the temperature and what kind of filament it is. Um, so let's just jump on the printer. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, I finally finished printing some prints down there and I did not get a lot of prints done because I didn't have a lot of time and I didn't want to put this video up super late so I did print some I did not print a vase mode but I did print a lithophane I will have to go get that it's not over there right now uh, but I do really 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 like this filament and I definitely will recommend it for all of you guys I will put a link to Suntop's filament down below in the description um, I had a lot of fun printing with this and experimenting in the beginning. It didn't work very well because uh, my printer was not working as it usually is not working. But I did get it fixed and then everything else was printed beautifully. Now there was a lot of stringing and I will show you guys some pictures and a little close up uh, what that looked like. But these prints glow in the dark amazingly. I'm so surprised on how well they glow. It is a green glow. And I really, really like how this all printed and how it shows up in the dark. So let's look at these prints a little closer up and then I'll show you guys what they look like in the dark. All right guys, so the first print I decided to print 
with this filament is this 3D bench sheet. Now, I really do like this bench sheet. I was super surprised on how well this printed out with the first print, even before I got to fixing my printer. But as you can see, there's a little bit of stringing. There was a lot more before, but I did clean it up a little bit. And the bed adhesion was great. You can kind of see, that's a little hard to see with this glare of the light, but the indents of the words on the bottom. And like I said in the beginning of the video, it's a little transparent. You can kind of see the infill. This has 20% infill, and this print turned out pretty nice. Now this next print was this little Ghostbuster logo thing. Now I asked some of my subscribers who are in the TiVo Tarantula Facebook group uh, what I should print for this video and for this review, and someone said a Ghostbuster logo. So here it is. This has about... I'd say 50%. Um, it does glow in the dark. Again, I will show you guys that at the end of all these close-ups. Um, there was support, and it came off pretty easily. It was underneath this hand and under the head, and then there was another hand, but the hand broke off because there wasn't enough infill, so it wasn't super strong. But the first layer turned out great. The top layer, there was no gaps, and I really thought this print was pretty cool. Next, I printed this Stormtrooper helmet. Again, this was a request by somebody in the Facebook group, and uh, this had some support on the bottom, but then the bottom came off because uh, of my fault. There was a little problem with the layers because the filament got stuck and I didn't save it in time, so when I took it off the build plate, um, it separated. But as you can see, this has 20% infill, and I'm probably going to paint in the eyes so that when it's glowing in the dark, it looks really cool. Next, we have the Maker Coin. Now, um, I forgot to print this in the beginning, but I did decide to print it, and the bottom turned out okay. I mean, the support material was actually really hard to get off of these prints without it being noticeable. This has 25% infill, uh, but the support material did leave some little white residue, and it just doesn't look the prettiest. But I really do like how this filament printed, and again, it was just a tiny bit stringy. Now, one of the coolest prints was this skeleton head. It printed like this. Now, I was going to print a entire skeleton body, but as you can see with the legs that I printed, one leg broke off, and I just couldn't get the other parts to stick to the build plate, so I'm not going to actually build this entire skeleton, but I did think that this skeleton head was pretty cool. I really like how it turned out. Uh, on the bottom it had some support as you can kind of see it printed like this so there was support all the way on the bottom and this has about 75 percent infill so it's pretty strong and heavy but I really think this was a super cool print. I'm probably going to paint the eyes black so that you can see the face a little bit better in the dark but I will do that later. Okay guys, now I know it's super dark, but I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like with printing with this glow-in-the-dark filament. As you can see up here, um, that is the filament on the spool. And then down here, you can see all of the prints. And then once you go down a little bit more, uh, you guys can't really see very well, but um, there is glow-in-the-dark support material everywhere on my floor and I just noticed that now and then there's some in the garbage bag and you can definitely see that it's super bright I will flip the camera around but just looking at all of these prints I mean look how bright that is I did not at all expect this brightness from this filament like this is the skull this is super cool um, I'm really I'm really amazed by this filament like um, I guess you can kind of see this triangle um, earlier, didn't you couldn't really see it. Maybe it's been charging with the light. But then here's my maker coin. This is really awesome. This is probably now my favorite maker coin. And then we have the lithophane. Um, you can't really see. Again, it's just uh, just a normal kind of bent thing. I don't know. It doesn't really have any use to it anymore because it's not really... And then here is the Ghostbusters logo. And then the Stormtrooper helmet. I think these turned out really awesome. And this cool ring. 
and then the 3D Benchy. I mean, my computer is giving off some light, and so is this camera. But let's see if I shut my computer. Um, I guess the printer gives off a lot of light too. Uh, it's just these prints are so cool, and I definitely recommend this film it. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you like this review. I mean, it wasn't the greatest review, and I know it's coming up a little late, but um, I really enjoyed printing with this film in, and I hope you guys go get some from Suntop. Again, I will put a link in the description to getting this filament. Um, it is so amazing on how well it glows. I mean, I didn't even know I had support material on my floor till I shut those lights off, and um, it's everywhere. And you can even see it in the garbage can. So it's got a super, super strong color to it in the dark, especially if you leave it out in the light for a long time. I mean, these have been out here for a couple days now. Um, so again, thank you, Suntop, for sending me this filament. And again, thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. We are growing, and I'm so excited to be teaching you guys new things, uh, young people, old people. Um, I'm just super excited. So thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.